Hello, this is Lucas with N2B Solutions. Today we are going to talk about the GWN7610. Um, I've got a project I'm working on in which I need to set up five of these. They can all act as the master access point and all of the extras become slaves. And the question becomes, how does this work? How do I set these up? We're going to go over. Um, to start, we're going to take a quick look at the unit itself, Grandstream. Um, did a good job. On the back there are several ports, a power port as well as two Ethernet ports. One of the ports specifically says net PoE. That's what we're going to plug into right there. All right, That's your network port for PoE. So I've already set up uh, four others of these. This is my fifth one. I'll give you a quick look if I can do it gently. So I've got those four access points and this one that's going to be plugged in all set up and and connected via DHCP. So they set themselves up on their own and they're very, very simple. Uh, PoE switch, plug it in and we're going let to it, let, it, uh, let it boot up. Once it boots up, the lights on the top will start flashing and if you can see this, there we go, purple flashing lights. That means that it is ready to be found in the network and uh, you pick one and you set it up as a master. Once it's set up as a master, you set up all the rest as slaves. And uh, if one should go down, the, one of the slaves can be take over as a master and control the configuration. So let's take a look at what that looks like and see what we got. So I'm gonna get rid of my camera here. All right, the first thing you need to do is the GWN discovery tool. Um, if you, unless you have some other way to find the IP address that the, the access point was assigned, you will need this tool. You download it from grandstream.com um, on their tools and, uh, and it works pretty slick. It went on my other screen, it looks like this. So first you select the network you're on. These are on my ethernet network and I'm going to scan. It takes a, a few moments to find them, but there they are. There's the four of them anyway. The fifth one I just plugged in hasn't come out yet, but we'll start, we'll, we'll just let it scan. As you can see right now, they're all 7610s. It gives me MAC addresses and all that. And the, the first one is the one I'll go with. I'm going to manage this device. So I just click on this and it's going to open a browser tab straight to it. As with all Grandstream products, the default username and password, admin and admin. But you have to change it the first time right off the bat. That one I don't let uh, anyone know my super secret password. And it will change the password right off the bat. I'm going to go to that uh, back to that scan tool real quick just to show you the uh, I did boot up some of these right initially and tested them out and upgraded them to the latest version of firmware, 102.15. Um, this one I did not do yet, and the one I just plugged in I did not do yet. Um, because I'm going to show you how to upgrade the firmware as we go. Once you are in your first one, your first device, you no longer need this tool. Um, you can see that there are other access points, but you don't need the tool to sync them up. And you can already see in the background, I will get to that. Right off the bat, the setup wizard comes up. And you can quickly go through the setup wizard and say, don't show this to me again, because you're going to do it right now. Um, and it will show you all the access points, the one we just connected, that is now the master. If you log into another access point via a browser, it will become a master on its own. Do not, I repeat, do not log into the other access points. You need to pair them from within the master. So find your one master, which is the .68 address we got here, and all the rest will become um, linked devices. So we can do that from here, and I can, I can link all of these from this main screen, which is what we're going to do. And it will provision each one as we go. And now all of those are paired with this master. It's that simple. Okay, next, 
Now, this is the, the wireless network that will be created. We can create more than one, but we're just going to create one for this example. I'm going to call it Midwest. There we go, Midwest. And I want all of the access points to, ha to be in this group that have this SID, SSID on it. So I move them all over to be with the one that was already there. And then you complete. And that's the basic setup for the entire thing. Um, all of those access points will get that SSID. All of them will work that you can travel from one to another. And there's no more configuration that's necessary. Now, this is the first one. They all would look like this. But we're going to go into system settings and look at maintenance. The firmware server right now, Grandstream will allow you to upgrade the firmware by changing the, the firmware server to firmware.grandstream.com. It will go, it'll find the latest firmware. You have to save at the bottom and apply that change. And then whenever you reboot, it will check for new firmware. And that's right here. Check and download new firmware on boot. I'm actually going to uncheck that for now. Actually, I'm going to leave that checked. All right. I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Um, so whenever I reboot this device, it is going to check for new firmware. When I'm done, I'm going to change that so that it only checks when I want it to. So if I ever need to upgrade the firmware, I'm going to come into the master. I'm going to tell it to check for new firmware on boot, and then I'm going to reboot it. On the left side here um, is my, my different settings of things I can look at. The overview shows you the basic information. If there's an alert or an alarm or anything, you can come down here and hit the dots, and it'll pull up the alert log. Show you all kinds of stuff. You can close that. It goes right back to normal. We can look at all the different things. We can look at the access points from here. And all of these screens that it takes me to are also accessible from the left side here. I can go down and just click on access points, and it'll show me all of them. It'll show me the master. It'll show me the four that are online. It'll show me the three over here that have the latest firmware and two that don't. It'll show me the network groups. This is where I created my SSID. I can add another one. I can create a whole new SSID with a different VLAN tag. All of that stuff is done in here. Um, it shows me my additional SSIDs here. I can create, I can see the clients that are, are logged into it. I can ban people. Um, all stuff I'm not going to do right now. And then back to the maintenance page. From the maintenance page, we set our firmware server, and this setting down here automatically checks for new firmware how often. Right now it's disabled. So if you put this at a time, I believe that's how you get the secondary units to check for firmware from the first main master unit. So if you, if you set it to every two hours, every two hours the secondary slaves will check the master, see if it has new firmware, and download it. So I'm going to leave that disabled for now because I want to be able to control that. So I'm going to go back to access points here and we can see the master and the four that are online. I want these two to grab the new firmware. So I'm going to check the box for that one and I'm going to check the box for this one and I'm going to tell the two of them to upgrade. Are you sure to upgrade? Only the selected online devices will upgrade but the master AP, but not, ma not the master access point can be upgraded. So because the master is the one that gets the first one, you actually have to reboot that one for it to go grab it and get it. And once it's got it, you can tell all the others to go ahead and upgrade. And so this is going to upgrade these guys. And then you can see it going in the background. Um, and it's going to take a little time. So I'm going to pause this and I'm going to come back as soon as that's done. All right, and we're back. Um, you can see it says all devices online, uh, all selected online devices upgraded successfully. So we're looking good. It shows that they're at 102.15 now, and all of them should have the same information. So we can uh, we can do lots of different things from here. If you add another one, you hit Discover APs, and if we didn't sync those up right off the bat, they would have showed up here, and we could have selected them and added them and link them. If you disconnect them or you delete the paired device, 
you can delete everyone except the master. So if you delete it, it will automatically delete the configuration off of it and have it ready for the next, uh, the next user, so to speak. So that's handy. You can also hit edit on these and see uh, what the configuration is, what its rules are. You can reboot the device. You can tell it to upgrade from here. Um, you can give it a fixed IP. You can all kinds of little stuff in here. So lots of options for you to dig through. But uh, the initial setup is simple. You, you find the access points, you set your master, you set your slaves, you create a network group that has an SSID. That's this one. We created this network group in that wizard. We can name the group if we want. We can look at the Wi-Fi settings, what it's called, pre-shared keys, set your passwords, all that kind of stuff. So um, the device membership of, of who's allowed to have this this Wi-Fi on it, on it. You apply you apply the group to the uh, to the device, and any SSIDs in the group will will show up on that device. I should be able to go down here and look at my Wi-Fi networks and find Midwest. There it is. So it's showing up. It's working, and that's all there is to it. Again, uh, this is Lucas with. N2V Solutions, and uh, you can find us at www.n2vs.com. Feel free to email, uh, give us a call if you have any questions, or if you have ideas for new videos, post them below, or, uh, or send us a message. So we love making these, and we love helping people out, and uh, thanks for joining us.